This is Dickenstown School, a happy school for children who might be a little bit older than you. Let's leave them playing and go inside to meet someone who wants to take us on an adventure. But who will it be? Is it Miss Twinkleton, the head teacher? Nope. Mr. Gradgrind, the class teacher? Nope. What about Beryl the cleaner? Could be. We're off for an adventure Anywhere in the universe Who will take us there? Beryl the cleaner Beryl the cleaner? Also known as Miss Balloon-iverse She makes things from balloons From frogs to baboons A long chuffing train Or a jet or a plane A parrot and a tree And a crab by the sea A draft that's tall She can make them ball but don't forget she's got her friends to help her There's Firefly and Balloon Bag So come on everyone, off we go, off we go, off we go To a world of balloons So why don't you come? You'll need lots of friends And have lots of fun The adventure will last Until the end of school play so come on and guess where she will take us today. Oh, hello. It's me, Beryl, the cleaner. <laughs> Sorry I didn't see you standing there. So busy cleaning this classroom. Gets in such a mess. I mean, look what I found earlier. There's a tissue and a straw. Oh, toy starfish. Oh, I know. That's from the seaside display that Mr. Gradgrind made for the children. Now, don't let the teachers know. But every day I like to take the children at home on an adventure. We can go anywhere we like. But, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, I need to check you're ready for an adventure. Now, can you stand up straight, please? Oh, yes. You've got your adventure socks on and your big adventure smile. Oh, you're definitely ready. But, well, I have to get ready too. I mean, I can't go on an adventure looking like this, can I? Will you help me? OK, help me say this rhyme. Now wiggle your fingers as we say this verse. Help me change into Miss Balloon-iverse with a spotty red dress and a tiny red hat. Now wiggle your fingers and help me change just like that. <sighs> That's better. Hello, my little rubber bubbles. Thank you for helping me turn into Miss balloon -iverse. There was some very nice finger wiggling going on there. In fact, I think some of you are still wiggling your fingers. But it's all right, you can stop now. That's better. So, we're all ready for an adventure. But first, we have to find our two friends. Balloon Bag, Firefly, are you ready? Yes, Miss Balloonverse. We can't wait. We're very excited, aren't we, Balloon Bag? Don't listen to him, Miss Balloonverse. He is excited. He just doesn't know it yet. So where are we going to go, Miss Balloonverse? Tell us. We want to know. I hope it's somewhere. Slow down, Firefly. First things first. Remember, the balloons will tell us where we're going. Woohoo! It's balloon building time. We'll try and guess what you're making, Miss Balloonverse. Balloon number one. This one needs two puffs. One, two. Tie the knot and stretch the balloon. Two bubbles and a twist. And a bubble. Let's put that one aside. Time for balloon number two. One, two. Stretch the balloon. Hang 
on a minute. They look alike, don't they? Let's put them together. And a bubble. And another one. Do you think you know what it is yet? Let's do another bubble. It's time for balloon number three. This one just needs one puff. Tie the knot. It's balloon wrestling time. hi -ya! There we go. One balloon wrestled. Let's put it together. Right here we've made a pair of eyes. Now we have balloon number four. That's a skinny balloon. I just need a tiny puff of air. On the count of three, will you blow on it for me? One, two, three. Thank you. Look, we've created Mr. Crab, a snippy, snappy crab. So today's story is all about a crab, and it's called The Crab Who Was Sad. Our little balloon crab was sad. He was sad because he lived at the top of a tower block and had no crab friends. Now we all thought it was a bit strange to find a crab living at the top of a tower block. So we asked Balloon Bag to let us take a peek into the sparkly balloon to find out exactly where crabs do live. So Balloon Bag inflated the most beautiful see-through sparkly balloon that you've ever seen and we looked deep inside. We had to look really hard but eventually pictures started to appear. Moving pictures of real children in the real world. The children discovered that crabs live at the seaside. You can find them in the sea or in rock pools by the sea. They like to hide under the rocks, so you have to look really carefully. So now we knew where crabs live, Firefly, Balloon Bag and I set off to the seaside to help little balloon crab find some friends. Along the way, we bumped into a dog, a seagull, and Balloon Bag met a very helpful seal who suggested we take a look in a rock pool. So I quickly made a balloonoscope and looked for a rock pool. And there, in the distance, I found one and off we went to take a look. But when we got there, there were no crabs to be seen. Firefly suddenly remembered that crabs like to hide under rocks, so she lifted a rock and guess what was there? I tell you what, why don't we take a look and see how our story ends? <gasps> oh, look, Firefly! There are lots of crabs for our friend to play with. Lots of crabs for our friend to play with! And Balloon Crab's mouth smiled the biggest smile. And he was so happy, he did a little crab dance on top of the rock. And Miss Ballooniverse and Firefly did a little dance along the sand as well, while Balloon Bag simply rolled his eyes and gave a big sigh. Oh, look, everyone. Our little crab friend has made lots of friends in no time at all. And there, in the rock pool, all the crabs were playing. Ah! Crabatics. They were doing crab stands and crab rolls. Everyone was having a great time when all of a sudden a bell began to ring. A bell that our friends had heard before. Come on everyone, that's a school bell. The children are about to come back into school. We have to get back, tidy up and get ready. Wave goodbye to our little friend. Today's adventure is at an end. Bye-bye, Balloon Crab. <laughs>